Welcome to From Blog to Small Business with Hugo. I'm Kendra Little. I'm a person who has worked in the tech industry for about 20 years now, but I've, I've never been a web developer. I'm a person who I've been fascinated with how databases work for a very long time. I've always loved learning more about databases, keeping them running, tuning them, helping people uh, use them better. So I've worked in a variety of different types of industries over the years, and I started a blog uh, a, a good while ago. I originally started the blog just as a place to record things I had learned both for my own future reference when there were things I could write about publicly, as well as to share with other people who might have the same questions. And I originally started with WordPress because the barrier to entry was super duper low. I, I think I started first with you know something that was hosted for free, and then I got my own domain. And over the years, I used a variety of hosts. Um, I didn't really want to run it myself, so I used a variety of hosts. And in 2021, I, I looked around and I found things were not going so well. Because at this point, I was working a, a full-time job as a developer advocate. And, and I kept the blog up, um, but, but I, I wasn't spending a lot of time on it. I was using a relatively inexpensive host because I wasn't making any money off of that site. And the performance was abysmal. I'd get messages from folks saying, hey, I want to get to this post on your site but it's not loading. Or even just, hey, it looks like your site is down entirely. And there wasn't really much control I had over this. I couldn't figure out, is it uh, the stuff I have with my free courses? I had free courses on the site with courses and, and lessons that, you know, I had embedded YouTube videos and, and links to GitHub. I didn't know if it was some of the plugins that were making it slow, if it was all on the host end. And it was very, very difficult to figure out and so I thought, I thought about just, maybe I should just get rid of this blog. Like I've been doing it for a while, but is it worth it? Now getting those messages from friends did help because I realized, hey, this, you know, the content I've built is really useful to people still. A lot of this is evergreen stuff that's still really useful. And friends in the community said, hey, have you looked at just switching to a static site? Instead of using WordPress, there are ways that you can build and manage your site, and all of the content is, is pre-generated. Your site is pre-built before it is shipped up into the internet. So when someone loads a page, it's much, much simpler than going and doing complicated things to figure out what should be on that page. It's just like, hey, here's, here's the page. <laughs> and so I, I didn't know much about this at all. I started reading about it and experimenting. And at first I was a little nervous because it, you know, I don't just have blog posts and images. I do have, you know, I, I want people to be able to have things like a course with lessons that are in order that people can can walk through. Now, a good friend of mine, Chrissy Lemaire, she's a wonderful person. She she had been working through things like this. And she she said, her advice to me was, when you you'll be tempted maybe to say, hey, maybe I don't have to migrate all my content. Maybe there's a way I can still manage the content in WordPress and then feed it into a process with the static site generator. And, and maybe I don't have to change everything. Maybe I don't have to convert all of my content up front. And she was she said, Hey, in your situation, I don't think I would look at that. She said, I think it can do what you need. And it can. It turns out <laughs> with Hugo, I could do everything I needed to do. Um and, and have it render very, very fast. Um, but she said, go ahead. It'll, it'll take you a little bit of time to convert your content, but I would go ahead and do that. And it did take some time. I think I spent most of a long weekend uh, converting a lot of my content, figuring out how to make things work. But it, it was actually really pretty fun. And at the end, what I got was not only a free site. I blog I blog at littlekendra.com is is kind of my the blog I've been keeping for all the years. Um not only did it fix all of my problems with that site, but I got a lot out of this experience that's been very valuable for other parts of my career. So, one thing it gave me was just a a way to use GitHub on a regular basis and get really really comfortable with GitHub. Now, I've worked in tech for a long time, but I don't I don't always commit code. 
Usually there's reasons for me to read code, but not always reasons for me to commit code or do pull requests all the time. But this got me really comfortable with not only, hey, okay, I need to uh, set up a new branch, do some work here, look at a, a preview, um, and then go ahead and publish. Not only did it get me used to that, but it also got me used to troubleshooting, like, oh, what, what, using GitHub, how can I tell what this code used to be? How can I use Git blame? There's just so many tools that now are not scary to me and that are sort of fun and interesting and normal because I, I just work with them a lot. And, and this is a very common, you know, using version control and being comfortable with it is a very common kind of experience and language and software development. And I feel like it's really been fabulous for me to have uh, just a way that I do that all the time that's fun and generates content. Now, a lot of people are starting to use this for generating their content too, using static sites. There's a documentation job that I got at a very large uh, company and the way they manage and publish all of their documentation is through a static site generator. So the workflow uh, for managing the content was exactly what I had already used uh, on my own blog with Hugo. It, it immediately felt comfortable, which was amazing. At another smaller company that I worked with, they were doing a project to, to renovate their content management system to use a static site. Now, one of the most important things I think I got from, and that I continue to get from working with Hugo to manage my now multiple sites, I have two sites now using uh, Hugo, is empathy for web developers. Now, it's not that I didn't have any empathy for web developers before. I've worked with web devs a lot over the years. And there's just, there's a lot to know when you have to <laughs> create and manage websites. But I find that just working with something a bit, <laughs> like just getting a glimpse of what a job is really like, it goes a long way to helping me realize all the things I don't know, right? It gives me a glimpse of the things I don't know. And I've also found working with my sites to be really interesting when it comes to new AI tooling. I've, uh, working with uh, database code and asking questions of GitHub Copilot is actually a really different experience than working with like CSS and asking Copilot questions. I think it's a lot better at the CSS at this point, but it is really, it's given me, you know, kind of multiple surface areas where I can experiment with new AI things and learn about them, which I think has been very, very positive. It's gotten me kind of out of my little database pigeonhole in a way that I'm very grateful uh, that I've had the chance to do that. Right now I'm starting up a small business and of course, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on my own. I don't want to invest a bunch of money in building my website. I found that building a new site for my LLC and defining my products on it, defining my offerings and doing experiments with it was has been very low cost. And also it's really helped me clarify thinking about the products and services I want because I can kind of really, really think about and iterate on things while actually working on the site at the same time. I'm not saying this is a product management best practice. I'm just saying that for me, a lot of my best thinking is, is while I'm learning and outlining things, right? So it comes naturally uh, that while working on and kind of building out a, a site for things, it helps me kind of think through, refine my thinking, really hone in on what are the experiments I want to do. The place that I've gotten to is an interesting one because as a database person, I used to really feel like, oh, anytime I can use a database, that's fantastic. I want to I wanna learn about it and tune it, and I, I love databases. So if a database is involved, that's great. Now I have a different perspective. I very much feel now like I love working with databases, but I don't love having other people's personal data, right? I don't want to be responsible for data that is risky or that could lead to, you know, harm for another person. I don't want to worry about if I don't have to manage data that could be, you know, ex exploited or infiltrated. If I can use a third party service who is a bigger company who has more robust procedures already established for managing all that data, if I can do that to get what I need done, oh, I'm all about that, right? I have a, a Calendly widget so people can book meetings with me, for instance, as a plugin on my static site. I love Calendly managing a lot of that data for me. <laughs> love that. I want that world for me. So 
I really, really enjoy combining the benefits of a static site with reliable third-party service integrations for uh, managing any data that I need. It makes life much simpler for me, much easier to manage. Thanks for joining me for this talk. I hope you enjoy HugoConf.